All right, so today I'm going to show you how to make instrumentals of pretty much any song in Sony Vegas. So first of all, you're going to want to get the VST plugin. Uh, I believe it's called Knockout. Uh, you can Google it. It's spelled Knockout with zeros instead of O's. Uh, and then you're going to want to drop it in the C program files x86 VST folder, and then tell Vegas to search for it in the preferences. So just go into Options, Preferences, VST Effects. Uh, give it the search folder and drop the DLL into that folder. Next off, you're going to want to find a song that you want to make an instrumental of. So in my case, I'm going to do the song Drive by I'm a Robot. Now this is a song that does not have any sort of instrumental whatsoever. It's an obscure demo from like 1999 uh, or something like that. So let's take a listen here. Okay, so basically what we're going to do is basically tell the Vegas, or the plugin, to cancel out the audio using a piece of audio in the song somewhere else. So, for example, at the beginning here, right where the beat drops. Okay, so we got a loop here. Uh, it doesn't matter if it has a little riff in it because the main the main chorus, or I mean the first verse. Does not have that now 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 in it, but it doesn't really matter because we can do because it's just gonna take what it can find out of this and cancel it out. Okay, so beat starts here. Song starts here. Okay, so now that we have those synced up, try and get them as closely synced as possible um, so that they play at the same time, that little loop. Uh, if there is no loop, then you're out of luck because... Um, yeah, you're just out of luck because you want you want to find something that's that that has a repetitive um, kind of I guess like this has like a drum beat that just with the same synth and everything in in it. Um, if there's a song that is more complex than this, then you can try and do the same thing using a piece of the song that sounds very similar if the waveforms match up. But basically, what you're gonna to want to do after this is make sure the loop is on the bottom and your regular song is on the top. Set the panning on the top to all the way to the left, and then the panning on the bottom one all the way to the right. Oop, whoops. So then, if you listen with both ears, uh, the regular song is going to be playing out of the left ear, and the instrumental little portion is going to be playing out of the right ear. Okay. And like I said, it doesn't really matter that the riff is in there because it's not going to really, it's not going to be audible. But what we're going to do now is go up to the master effects, click on this add the knockout VST effect and then um, right off the bat if you listen through just the left ear take your right headphone out of your ear or something or move it or just listen through the left ear okay so that sounds pretty good uh, you can mess with this Do this over and over again. Make sure the waveforms match up pretty similar. And you might, in some cases, you might actually have other instruments in here. Like in this case, we got the synth. There's not really a whole lot you can do about that unless you can find a loop that has a similar bit in it. Okay, 
Now what I'm going to do is just mess with this a little bit to make it sound a little bit better. Okay, now if you aren't making a tutorial and you want to actually spend time on this, you can tweak these settings, mess with them, uh, figure out something that works. But I'm not going to do the whole song, I'm just going to do this part. Um, if you want to just make an acapella of the song, then you're pretty much done at this point. You can just render this out as an mp3 and only use the left channel of the rendered out mp3. But what I'm going to do is, if you want to make a tutorial, or not a tutorial, if you want to make a, duh, I'm stupid, if you want to make an instrumental, uh, you got to render out the portion that is being cancelled out as just an acapella and drive acapella. Just render that portion out on, on its own. Now uh, delete all this. There's probably a better way of doing this, but this is how I do it. And I find that this is the easiest way to do it. You can change it. You can do whatever you want. I have no control over that. Drop over, drop the acapella, which you can see is in the left channel here, just the vocals. And then right click it, do channels, left only, so you just got the vocals here. And next you're going to want to reset all the values back to zero on this thing. Off, off, output gain. Output gain doesn't really matter. And then uh, if it's synced up properly. Now it's not perfect, but uh, you can still barely hear the voice in that. But if you if you spend a little bit of time on it and um, actually make it like decent. Yeah, you can do whatever you want, basically, as long as you, um, yeah, as long as you just, uh, spend some time on it and don't, you know, make a tutorial on it like I am, you can actually do a pretty good job with this, uh, you can make some pretty cool sounding things like, uh, where is it, I mean, I made this acapella out of one song. Acting out on the big stage, he blows your mind. So you can make some pretty cool acapellas with it. Um, you can, once you have a rendered out file, you can, you know, adjust, you can drop it back in, adjust the EQs and whatever, make it sound a little bit better. It's not really meant for anything professional, but if you want to just make a cool little instrumental of something for a video or whatever, uh, that's, that's how you do it. Peace.